development drama. A landowner wants to build over 60 high-end apartments and townhomes in Roanoke, some of whom, uh, some people who live in that area are already pleading against it. And 10 News reporter McKinley Struther explains who has the final say. It sticks, it's dirt, it's trees tonight, but soon it could be home to more than 60 new units here on Brandon Avenue. But resident after resident spoke to the Planning Commission today begging them to block it. It was not good three years ago, and it's worse now. If I didn't know better, I would have been sold on it myself. Sold on new high-end apartments and townhomes by this developer. He says they will be affordable, less than $1,000 a month and under market value. It's not substantially different than the previous plan. That plan failed back in 2017. This plan calls for more dwellings, but... The developer says this time he considers the biggest concern of all, traffic. The traffic from this development is less than 2% of the daily traffic on Brandon Avenue. Okay, So we want to make sure that it's noted that is an increase in traffic? Absolutely. The developer gave two options to townhomes and apartments or a dozen houses with driveways that back onto Brandon Avenue. The latter doesn't need rezoning, but worry commission members even more on safety. Is this a matter of traffic, or is this a matter of somebody doesn't want this type of housing near where they live? Mr. Fralin and his associates would have maybe a different opinion about, about their backyard if it truly was their backyard. Ultimately, the commission gave positive recommendations to council who has the final say. McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.